Right, here we have an operation too far. Cleaned out the interior of the van. The um, floor's nice and clean. Um, putting back the, the original OEM floor. So I've got one section in, need to pop this, the other one into the back. Then I can get an indication of, because well, the intent today is try and get the battens in on the floor. So I know where the battens need to go when they're running on the floor. I may or may not reuse this floor again, depends, but uh, that's, uh, that's uh, a discussion for another day. And there's the battens. Ah, oh, at last, look at those. Nice and straight they be. Super job. Right, okay. Let me crack on and get the other floor in. Right, there you have it, the floor's in. So what I need to figure out is just to measure so I know where the batons are gonna go along that edge. There I'm not too worried about. And along here as well. Because obviously if I don't get these holes aligned and the batons are in the wrong and the batons are in the wrong place, I'm going to have a problem. Right, I've got the box of D-ring shackles back out. What I'm going to do is just uh, line this up. As you can see, line this up, get the floor lined up. Then measure, mark here, so I know where the baton needs to come up to. So like that, it fits nice and snug. Shouldn't be too much of an issue because obviously I can put something over here. But I want it reasonably accurate. So if I can get that floor lined in, that's uh, half the battle. just get a rough uh, alignment so I'm not going to go too mad. In theory I just need these two. Right. That'll do, I think. Or will it? Hmm. Let's see. I'll have to do for now. Right, I've taped the edge along here so I know where this board comes up to and I'll do a similar thing at the back as well okay floor was cleared Ta I put a tape across the back and got a tape up here so my measurements are got them all written down and set up the, the glues all arrived got all the group prepped Celotex is over there and set up the garage got the 3.6 meter batons 25 by 38 mil got my drill set up got a tape measure initially just going to cut one of the batons in half which makes it 1.8 which will be the width going across we've measured it all so with let me show me with three pieces of sellotex uh, the Celotex is 2.4 by 2.4 by 120 so one piece one piece cut the third piece uh, all the way down the middle 
uh, the longest edge, uh, then it will fit in there. So three pieces should be enough. We'll soon find out by the end of the day. And those are the dimensions roughly on the back. So you can see it's 178. So cutting one of those 3.6 to 180. Uh, I'm going to cut them short because I don't want them right up to the edge because otherwise they're going to squeak like mad. Nobody likes a squeaker in their van. There you go, the battens are in, all nicely cut, all accurately measured, numbered and sequenced all the way through. Lovely jubbly. So pleased with that, I've actually put a couple more noggins in, rather than less, I've doubled up the ends there and there, two battens just to give it strength. And I've got her through uh, four noggings across each baton, in between each baton, uh, to give it, uh, yeah, good integrity. So not bad, not bad. I uh, bought uh, two packs of eight, or 2538s from our friends at Wix. And this lot went through a pack, and I think I've got three stroke four batons left. So a pack and a half to, uh, to achieve this, if any, born, if any uh, bean counters out there. Uh, trying to figure out. The other thing as well, when you get to the wheel arches here, <coughs> um, the gum glue, uh, the adhesive glue around the wheel arch, you either have to uh, level it out or, or uh, shave off the back, bottom of the back, back in the corner because otherwise it rises high when you put the backing on the floor. So I just took the glue off and put a load of cure rust on it and I'm going to red oxide it and prime it. In hindsight, I should have just shaved the wood to get it to fit, really. So it still sits flush on the floor. But just a little tip if anyone if anyone is looking to uh, put the batten straight up there. The reason why I went that close as well, because if you look here, there is no batten. So you can't, or no rib, sorry. So you can't follow a rib there. So that's why I had to get it as close as I could to the wheel arch in the corner. Right, got the glue prepped in the gun. Got myself a load of weights to uh, weigh down the battens. I'm going to start at the back and uh, I still need to wait for some uh, red oxide to dry in a couple of battens, but I can do those afterwards. So I'll start at the back and work my way forward and see how it goes.
can't recall if I've mentioned it, but I'm using a set square to try and get the corners uh, reasonably square as much as possible. So when I come to cut the Celotex, it's, uh, I can cut it square rather than getting all silly little angles. Right, this is take about five. Due to the rain, I've had to start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. So now the sun is shining. <laughs> so I left my grubby shoes out there and I brought some shoes in so to wear in the van so I don't make a mess. I shall hook this camera up and carry on gluing and see how far I get. Right, there you go that's three more done I'm gonna give it an hour then I'll come back and finish the last three beams so I'll take the weights off of those sections everything's nice and flat take the weight off those sections then uh, move it up to the last bit so uh, yeah get it done then I'll, I'll, I'll leave it 24 hours for it to cure There you go then guys, just finished uh, doing the uh, floor, uh, finished doing the, the gluing, so it's all it's all glued now, used two tubes and just started a third, so not too bad, uh, so I'm pleased with the result, um, it's uh, gone as good as can be expected, as they would say, um, so yeah, it's Friday night, time I found, went and found a couple of beers and some food, and go and find a film to watch and uh, give this 24 hours to cure then Sunday I will start with cutting out the cellar texting and place it all in between then hopefully get the floor over the top of that and that's the floor done for now then finish off the start finishing off the wiring start doing the insulation and the cladding <laughs> famous last words right okay have a good weekend I uh, hope you all have a good time